IABCA Businesswoman of the Year. This award recognizes outstanding achievements of a female leader who has built a successful business or career over time. It now gives me great pleasure to invite on stage the Honorable Dr. Jeff Lee, MP, Minister for Skills and Tertiary Education and Minister for Sport, Multiculturalism, Seniors and Veterans, representing the Honorable Gladys Berejiklian, MP, Premier of New South Wales, to provide an address before assisting with the next award. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And can I first off acknowledge you, the traditional owners of the land, the elders past, present and emerging. Can I say thank you very much, Sonda Gandhi, for your vision, your dynamism that has made eight years of fantastic awards. And I think it's a tribute to you and your team that we can have tonight's award with such a great and auspicious crowd. So can I welcome all our dignitaries tonight? I'm not going to go through them, but can I recognise our community leaders, our business leaders, our religious leaders and our diplomatic corps. Can I recognise my parliamentary colleagues? If I don't say their names, they won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> Can I recognise uh, High Commissioner? Uh, great to see you, five days on the job. So if I can just give you a couple of tips for five days on the job. <laughs> can I say you're down there in Canberra, that's a nice place, a bit cold. But if you think Sydney's nice, you should go to Parramatta. <laughs> that's even nice, it's only 25 kilometres down the road. So I'd, I'd implore you to go to Parramatta. This is, this, Sydney's quite nice, it's a little port city, but at Parramatta is a centre of cultural excellence, especially the Indian culture. We have our own little Harris, our own little India in Harris Park. So please come down. I know the Lord Mayor, Bob Dwyer, is here today. <laughs> Where are you, Bob? He's here somewhere. There he is over there. If anyone wants anything in Parramatta, go and see Bob. <laughs> Developments, parking, everything like that. Can I say, hi, Commissioner, can I say uh, you, uh, you'll be very impressed with your Consul General here in India, Manish Gupta. He's doing a stellar job. Can I say that uh, the Australian Indian community are a very uh, active community. I think there's 272 by last count, Joseph was saying, 272 communities, Australian Indian communities, and, and our Consul General has seen everyone at least once and maybe twice. Uh, he's doing a stellar job. So. Well done, uh, Consul General. Can I say to everybody, uh, it is a tough time in India. Uh, High Commissioner, on behalf of the New South Wales Government, can you convey uh, our government's thoughts and prayers for the devastation in India that they're suffering at the moment? We know it's a particularly tough time. Uh, can I thank Julian Lisa for, and the Federal Government on, on behalf of the New South Wales people for your aid? You know, during COVID, it is a tough time and, and governments have to make tough decisions. So the tough decision to actually pause the repatriation of Australians from India was a tough decision. But can I say making preparations to keep Australia safe was so important and it's great to see that you're, res you're resuming those flights later tonight, Australian time. And can I say that, that um, one of the best things about it has been uh, Minister Alex Hawke. Last night, we were on a conference call with some 80 odd community leaders many of them here today looking at you know those arrangements and how we can better do those arrangements so thank you to the federal government about your stellar works and repatriating the most vulnerable home first so well done can i say uh secondly can i say uh sonia your team is uh, fantastic it's fantastic to recognize community leaders business leaders who have achieved i think awards are especially important because every during the year and when we go to work and we volunteer, we provide um, service in the community, we actually go out and do it every day, day in, day out, without little recognition. And I think times like tonight are times where we can actually recognise those people, that, those organisations that have given a little bit more. So on behalf of the New South Wales Government, on behalf of the Premier of New South Wales, Gladys Berejiklian, can I congratulate all the finalists and all the winners and everybody here by developing further and further, by contributing to the New South Wales and Australia, you're the people that make this happen. So thank you very much. I'm Jeff Lee, Minister for Multiculturalism, and it's an absolute honour and privilege to join with you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister Lee. And would you like to announce our winner, please? And the winner is the IABC Businesswoman of the Year, is Dr. Tanya Uni. Well done.
is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much, Ayapka. Thank you, Sonia Gandhi. This is very special to me at every level. As an individual, as a businesswoman, as a mother, and as a doctor. On this occasion, I want to say just very few words. I want to dedicate this award to every single health professional all around the world, especially at this point of time, where I come from, India, the doctors, the health professional, who's doing it really tough, my doctor friends, my friends who are nurses and they, everyone in the health industry, they're doing it tough. I cannot imagine how they're coping. And honestly, I have so much wish that I could be of some help being there, but that's not the case. We can't do that. Anyway, on the positive note, I'm going to dedicate this award to all of them, all the health heroes around the world and India, and of course, over here. Secondly, I want to dedicate this award to those businesswomen out here, those ones who have been nominated, the finalist. Every one of you is an award winner. It is not easy to be a woman in business. Trust me, I know it. It's been 10 years that I've been in business. Came to a country where I have, my husband and I had absolutely no one. Started from scratch. Very hard, it is. It is hard to be a businesswoman and be a mother. I know everything about missing parent-teacher meetings. I know everything about missing the first assembly, the first award my first child got. I missed everything. It isn't easy. But I would do it again. I'll give my 100% to what I do. And I'll continue to do it. And I have one message before I finish. If anyone out here tell a lady, a woman that wait until your child grows up to do business, I would say don't listen. <laughs> if your heart says do it, and if you want to do it, there isn't any better time that you decide what you want to do. And that's all from me. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Congratulations.